in your diversity. You're working on just about all the problems. And all kinds of organizations, government, NGOs, the academy, research, pushing the frontiers of new sorts of work in business, making the world more efficient. This is the very, very, very exciting to me. And fundamentally, you're using GIS and geography to drive more efficiency, to help the world understand about our world, to make better decisions, and uh, collaborate. That's what this is all about. And your organizations are better for it. Uh, I like that. I do know that it's making a difference in your individual organizations. But the vision I laid out on Monday is that our collective work can amount to more than our individual work. As great as your work has been, the aggregation of your work in the future will be even greater. Sharing knowledge is, I think, one of the key. What do I mean by sharing knowledge? I don't mean simply sharing data. You have developed oftentimes new methods and new ideas about data collection. Now we're seeing VGI and crowdsourcing as a new kind of data. We're going to have to learn how to do that integrated in our systems. Providing your authoritative data and also mixing it with these new forms of data. Following the technology, abstracting our cities and our worlds and our organizations into models that actually make everything work. Sharing data and sharing apps is going to be the next big step. That's my, my philosophy, my view. <laughs> but it's also about sharing everything else about you, how you do it. Uh, your methodologies. And for this, I wish that you would publish your work, write papers academically or in your newspapers, or more importantly, with your colleagues, like giving papers here so that they learn from you. The map exhibit, I guess it's out here, is an example of that. And I notice people walking around and interact. How did you do that? How were you organized? How did you achieve that? All of those sorts of things. Well, that's what that's what good practices and good practices sharing is about. I wish I could do more somehow to acknowledge it. This is only a small way or a token in some ways. I feel it isn't enough to really express what I feel about your work. I don't feel adequate to acknowledge you enough, frankly. Because I do know what it takes to be able to do what you do. Uh, yet, this is the forum for it. It's like I said, the Academy Awards at GIS. Only your peers at this conference can actually fully appreciate what you do. They know how long it takes to achieve what you did. Uh, they know that it sometimes required staying up all night. They know that you had to sell your leadership. They know that you had to collaborate with others to bring it about. They know that you had to do the quality assurance of your data. They know that you had to build applications that actually worked. They knew that you had to work with users to know what those were. They know that it, the infrastructure had to be sound. They knew that you needed to support mission critical, critical situations. They know all that stuff. So in some ways, this is the place to be acknowledged, and especially in competition with all of them. Convincing managers, holding your people, nurturing your people, building the organization. And maybe the last thing I want to say about that is creating an organization that lasts beyond you. Creating these footprints so that they really deeply integrate into your organizations and make differences on the long term. That's, that's interesting. For me, that's what's going to be valuable in our heritage. I know a little bit about what it takes because building ESRI and making it successful all these years required, uh, required hard work. <laughs> I have one little story I want to share, which is 
about uh, flat tires that stay all night. One time my wife Laura and I worked, when we were first getting started at the university, because they had a computer center there. And we were working all night, 4.30 in the morning, because that's when we could get cheap computer time. And we came out in the morning and the, flat, the tire was flat in this old lousy car that we had. And we were just tired, key punching, she was key punching, I was coding, and uh, it was depressing. <laughs> it was just depressing. <laughs> so I fixed the tire, and uh, we drove home, and she went down to the office, and I went to sleep. <laughs> uh, I woke up, and the other tire was flat. <laughs> uh, but I had to get up, rode the bicycle to work, and kept at it. And I use that as a metaphor for, for, for doing it. I think you know exactly what I'm talking about. When you get depressed, you get down, you get back up and you keep going. That's the sign of successful people. And that's, I know, as a metaphor, exactly what you have done in your, in your very work. It's hard work that actually gets things done. It isn't a stage show, it isn't a, a cool thing. It's, the dedication and determination of the skills and the many times patience to keep working it on. So I believe success is never easy. It's not, it's not a, a bed of flowers. It's, uh, and you know that actually. <laughs> so uh, only people at this conference can probably really appreciate what you do. So uh, I like this idea of acknowledging best practices. I like this idea of acknowledging your work. It gives me lots of fun, and I hope it makes you feel good. Uh, but I also have a different goal in mind, which is that you share this good work and your knowledge with others so that they can grow and do the same thing. And that's why I encourage you to share your work. A big theme of mine is sharing, sharing, sharing. So on behalf of myself, uh, on behalf of my colleagues at ESRI, on behalf of the, the worldwide community of GIS users, uh, I want to acknowledge you and say congratulations and thank you very much.